Hello, Monday, let's go trucking, full of enthusiasm, <laughs> what's he doing there, full of enthusiasm and raring to go, I'm 34. I'm just starting. Uh, yeah. Good chat with the boys in the yard in the uh, in the office. I'm one of the other drivers. So I finished on uh, Saturday. I can't remember what time I got home, about nine-ish, I think. And uh, as you saw in the video, in the last video, I didn't get any. I've had a I had a bad week for sleep last week. Didn't sleep well at all. At the end of the road, turn right, open the way. Um, and I always like to try and get a bit of kit while I'm on a break, but I'm always in the shit. But uh, I didn't. Uh, I didn't get that last week, so it was hard work. You don't notice it at the time. On Saturday, when I got home, I sort of, you know, I, I didn't feel it at all. I didn't feel well, to be totally honest with you. I didn't feel well, um, and it was just over tiredness. What did we do Saturday night? Oh, I cooked some lamb steaks with daffin, daffin, daffin noir potatoes. Is that what you call it? I don't know. So it's like it's chopped, you use par parboiled potatoes, then you slice them, and then you layer them with uh, creme fraiche. Well, I use you can use cream, but it gets it gets a little bit sickly if you use cream. So I use creme fraiche and it works just as well. Creme fraiche. Between A335 Albrook Way and Eastern Lane, six minutes delay, cross the roundabout and take the first exit. Yeah, we'll do that. Come on in. Slow traffic on M3, E05. Bloody traffic hell. Channel ahead. Between A335 Albrook Way and Eastern Lane, six minutes delay. It was like they didn't even look to see that I was there, I don't think. I was like invisible. I'm not quite sure how. So anyway, yeah, no. Daff and white potatoes. And um yeah, slice them up. Oh jeez. Thing is I know where I'm going, right to the door. Um I only got it on for the traffic. So anyway loads of garlic, creme fresh, loads of grated cheese, whack it in the oven, drop them. Beautiful. Lamb steaks, oh, to die for. And then um, green beans, steamed. And asparagus, which I've cooked in. Once I've done the finish the lamb chops, I, I put the, so I cooked them in butter and garlic. And then, um, the lamb chops, sorry, the, the, the asparagus went in with the lamb chops just right at the end, just to give them that, you know, coat them in that garlicky, lamby sort of juices. And, oh, and the lamb chops weren't overdone, so they were a little bit, little bit pink on the inside. Love it, like a little bit of pink. And um, I lost all train of thought then, easily done. So yeah, we had that on Saturday night, and then I fell into a sort of like a coma. Sunday, I felt.
yeah, I just really didn't feel it. I enjoyed my meal, uh, and I did have a couple of ciders, and uh, I was just, it was just tiredness. Um, I woke up a couple of times during the night on Saturday night, but we had a bit of a lay in and slept on, and we had no rush on Sunday to do anything. Oh, Saturday we were sort of mooching about and trying to get things done, you know. And, um, <coughs> so I never went to bed, so I was up from 10 past 1 straight through. <coughs> I think, oh hang on, maybe did I did, did I have a couple of hours skip in the afternoon? I think I had about an hour, hour and a half in the afternoon, Saturday afternoon. It didn't do me any good at all, it just wasn't enough. And you wake up and you're like, you don't know which way's up or if you're inside out or facing the wrong way, you know? It's one of those sort of weird feelings. You're just groggy then, aren't you? And, uh, went to bed Saturday night, Sunday morning woke up, and it was just like, you know, I felt a million times better. And it was just tiredness. I keep forgetting that I'm not 18 anymore, and I can't burn the candle at both ends. And, um, it's a hard thing to come to terms with, you know? I've got to, I've got, uh, I've got to try and... mind that'll be really good um i've got to remember that i'm not like I say i'm not 18 anymore and burning a candle at both ends um i can't i just can't do it i need me sleep these days and uh although i had time off last week i had a couple of you know 11 hours off i didn't i didn't I didn't manage to get to sleep, it was just, uh, you know, I, when I slept, I slept well, but I only had five or six hours of it. And that, with long days, doesn't, um, and early starts, is, uh, is not good. Blimey, I mean, it's warm. It says 15 degrees. Slow traffic on M3, E05. Turn me heat down a bit. Full of roadworks, by the looks of it, roadworks, all sorts going on. Satnav is obliterated with um, warnings. Oh well, we'll, uh, we'll get there when we get there. It's saying 10 to 1, I haven't got to be there realistically until half 2. So, uh, We've got a light box. This was the box I got on Friday afternoon. No, Saturday morning even. Saturday morning. Which uh, gave me the um, latest start this morning, which is quite nice. Just, you know, not having to get up at 3, 4 o'clock in the morning makes a huge difference. You know, my alarm was set for 6. And I just had a relaxing morning, get my gear all together, load my truck. You know, I, I left the house at 8 o'clock this morning. So, um, yeah, you feel a little fresher, don't you? Only marginally. <laughs> well, what a shitty day. And what a shit weather all weekend. Ah, oh, terrible, wasn't it? We, we just caught in, we, everywhere we went, we sort of got caught in multiple heavy rain showers. Grim. And the day, and the rest of the week, I don't think it's any different. I think from about Wednesday, Thursday, it gets a little drier, but that's about it. Uh, Monday, Today, Tuesday, and probably Wednesday, I think it's all wet and horrible like this. But, yeah. One of those things, isn't it, Scott? Crack on. 
I've got a trailer swap to do in this later, so, well, potential. I mean, tides right in, look. Jeez. Yeah, very high. Big boat in. You can see over to me right, just about. So I should have enough time to get up the ground Gary and then back down again and then potentially set myself up on the docks, box off, box on, to uh, get ready for the mine, which would be quite nice. just about oh, look at the rain my word I don't know if you can hear it Burling it down Sip some coffee and get on that the road. Um, I'm going to uh, Barden, Oldville, Barden really. So uh, M834 up the M3, M4, A34, M40. A43 M1 Junction 22 come off and I'm about 10 minutes off the uh, Junction 22. Trailer drop and swap so I shouldn't be in, in there any more than about half an hour depending on whether they want me to do a you know swapping. Because sometimes you go to this place and they want you to shunt a trailer around. Well I'll only shunt our trailers if someone else is now ain't moving. Um, we're not at all. Maybe you know? some another company's trailer. If you want to do that, get yourself a shunt. I'll move one of ours. And... And then, um, pop foot it back down and see where, see where we end up. That's, uh, who knows? Lane's coming straight down, stair rods, isn't it? Look, I don't know if you can see that or not. I don't know how clear it is. <coughs> nice, seem to be taking ages. Right. 
Hello. 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 It's like the rain addles their brains. Could be a slow trip up. I don't think there's anything after this though. I think we're, we're, we're good after this. Let the truck do the work for me. raining Where's traffic coming from? Now some of the old school drivers, they've done, they'd be going, oh yeah, you ain't a real driver unless you're in a manual. With a split a gearbox and a, all that malarkey, oh, do us a favour. What, in conditions like this? Stop, start, stop, start. I ain't got to do anything. I'm just sitting here steering. She's doing everything for me. Bliss. Why make life hard? You'd be in and out of the gears here. Clutch in, clutch out, hitting the brake, start, stop. Oh. Can't think of nothing worse. Yeah, you ain't a real trucker. Oh, do yourself a favour. Clutch in, brake, handbrake. Holding it there, holding it there, clutch down. Do I need to clutch down? Take it out of gear. Right, take it out of gear. Clutch up. Still on the handbrake. Well, get ready to go, clutch down, in the gear, find the bike, slowly bring the clutch up, where you go, all I've got to do is just lightest of dabs on the uh, accelerator there and I'm away, that's all I had to do, Jeez. do you know what I mean, it's easy, he'll start, then I have to find the bike, it's just, 
Could I drive a manual? Yeah, I learned to drive a coach in a manual. And I've driven class twos in manual. I don't have a problem with it. I just wouldn't want to do it. To the point, if if I um, if I went to another company and they said, "Oh, you've only got a manual gearbox," uh, no, sorry, I, I just it's just it's gonna be answered. Awesome. Most modern trucks are, uh, most new trucks are automatic anyway these days, so. the other day there was a there was an accident up here um, I was coming south I was southbound but I could see the accident and what it was was a lorry had spun a car around where clearly the car had been in the left hand lane decided to pull across in front of the lorry the lorry didn't see him and um, spun him round there he was and there the car was right across the nose of the lorry well there you go Oh, Trance Stag, nice. To my right, it's a little blue one. Convertible. I saw one on, uh, I think it was only yesterday, I saw one on Facebook Marketplace. 22 grand. 22 grand. Themselves. Ah, there you go. Ugh. Beginning of the week, I'm out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, possibly Friday night, because I can, because I had um I had over 48 hours, 48, 49 hours off, so I've got nothing to repay. Ugh. So I can do uh, Friday night if I so wish. See how it goes. See where we get to. See how many nights out we get this week. Some nice food for this week. I've got a curry. I've got a mystery meal. Mystery meals in our ass. Yeah. We, <laughs> we call them mystery meals. It's quite simple. All your leftovers. You have. You know. I'll cook a nice meal, and there's always leftovers. Always cook too much. Put it into a. You know, like a, a takeaway plastic container. Stick it in the freezer. No, come back, come to it in about two or three months' time or a month's time. No idea what it is because we never bother to label it. We really need to get into the habit of labeling things. So they're like mystery meals. You think it's one thing and it's something completely the other. You go, oh yeah, it's a kidney bean. That must be a chili then. No, it's some other um, meal that I've made with chili beans in, uh, with um, kidney beans in. You know, that's, that's what I had the other day. I thought, oh, I've got chili. Got some white sat up with one. It was um, it was heaven. It was something called heavenly blog. Now, if you've never heard of the bloke called Nats N A T S, what I reckon, and he's an Australian chef. 
not conventional. Well, no, he's not. He's he's a, he's just a, he's, a, he's a talented lad actually. Um, he swears more than I do, and that, so you can. I think I've mentioned him before. He swears more than I do. So if you get a chance to go, go over and see him. That's what I reckon. <laughs> and he, he he he's a firm believer in not using anything out of a packet or anything out of a jar or doing anything in the microwave. And. Um, He's, he's, he's fun. I, I, I think he's brilliant. I think he's really funny. He, he, he tickles my sense of humour. Um, so if you laugh at it, so if you laugh at the same things that I do, go and watch this guy and um, get some cooking tips because he makes it all really simple as well. He's um, he's like an Australian Jamie Oliver, but swears a lot. <laughs> I think that's the best way to describe it. But he's brilliant. So you know, pop along with him. And uh, he, he did a meal called Heavenly Blob, and it's just uh, it's just really not it's just really nice. And a lot of it is leftovers that you have kicking around in your fridge or in, in your freezer or in your cupboard. And it's just turned out. I, I did it. We did a little a couple of little adaptations to it because you can. It's easy to do. But it tasted. Uh, it was just it was spot on. Absolutely lovely. So yeah, really enjoyed that. Um, so yeah, I thought it was a chili, and it wasn't. It was heavenly blob, which is a completely different look. Still nice. Didn't bother me. Really nice. So uh, yeah, yeah. So I got that. I got some chicken breasts. I'm going to have some pasta and some uh, chili sauce. Um, it's like a Thai. Uh, a little sachet of sauce and it's just quick and simple and easy. Um, cook some pasta, cook the chicken, add the sauce, job done. Just simple. Very great cheese, love it. I'll go on. And it takes me about 10 minutes to do. And excellent. That's what it's all about. Just cooking nice food. Having nice food. If you don't want to be eating burgers every night or Kentucky fried chicken, I mean it's so rare that I do that. But I know some people do it all the time and it's like I'm fat enough and probably likely to have a heart attack without eating any of that shit. Yeah. So anyway, miserable weather, not a lot to see along here, just the A34 northbound now. And uh, we're out in the traffic and there doesn't seem to be any traffic on my way up now. It's 130 miles to go. Lost a little bit of time there, it's now going to be 12.57 when I uh, pull in. Um, I'm going to take a 15 minute break on the way up, because I can. And um, get half an hour while I'm there, which I might need just to dry out, change your clothing. And then um, we go from there, head back down. If I need to go on the docks, I'll take another 45 just to make sure I've got enough time to travel around the docks. And if I haven't, it'll be straight back to the yard. Good night, Vienna. Good night, Vienna. Right, speak is all that. Hello. Just coming off the uh, M40. Going on to the A43. more minutes You never know, sometimes they just don't, they don't look, so you're unsure whether they're going to come on out on you or um, stay where they are.
Sun Sunshine. get up to the A5 and I'm going to pull over and take a 15 minute break. Even with that I'm going to be over an hour early. Which is fine. Morning, well. Need a holiday, that's what I need. Need a holiday. You don't get enough. I reckon you should get a minimum of six weeks a year paid. And there'd be some self-employed bloke going, well I don't get I don't get any holiday pay. Well that's because you chose to be self-employed, my friend. I've chosen not to. I have been self-employed. I've been there, done that, got the t-shirt. As a lot of my self-employed mates found out during the pandemic, it wasn't to their advantage. So there is, you know, the, 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 the going self-employed these days is. Uh, it used to be the, you know, used to used to be able to reduce your tax liability totally legally. Um, and showed that you earned very little uh, and, that, and that was absolutely fine and perfectly legal like I said no no problems at all with, with, with doing that but the problem you have when we had like the pandemic was then okay you need to show your earnings and you can get a percentage I can't remember what it was for self employed whether it was the full 80% whether it was something different, but you could claim but if you're if you're <laughs> showing that you were a bugger all, you're gonna get 80% of bugger all, aren't you? Do you know what I mean? Swings and roundabouts, my friends.
Yeah, but even though four weeks isn't a great deal. And there are companies out there that do that. I mean, my wife, Frank, uh, the gorgeous Kira. After half a mile, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A43. I think because she's been there 12 years, I think she gets. That, you know, for every year of service they get an extra day or something like that, you know. But she's on 30 days now, 30 days um, of holiday. More companies should do that and they should... Cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A43. Recognise that if an employee is knackered and has to take days off because he's ill or, you know, and that's, that's a, that is a problem, ill or stressed or what, what for whatever reason, but, you know, um, lots of people take sick days as a result of that. Uh, but if you've got a well-rested workforce, you're going to have more product productivity. It's very simple. I'm going to talk more about that in a minute once I've um, had my break. I'm going to talk about uh, a few statistics that I found out recently, which will scare you, or should scare you to death. Scared me. And um, yeah. I'll talk about those in a minute too, but in the meantime, I'm just going to trundle along here. Uh, I've got another, I don't know, 10 mile to go before I pull over. So I get past these two roundabouts here. See all those um, berries there? Uh, what are they called? Uh, da, 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 da. Slows, that's it. again any bears yet either. Not bad for Monday. Bear free. to be on a motorbike. boy. Really. Well, I used to ride in all weathers, but uh, all the way, all, all year through. I used to... My, my motorbike was my daily transport. That's what I used. But, uh, Perhaps I'm just getting soft in my old age. I think I am. 
think I am. I'll do you for now. I shall speak to you once I've um, had me break. Speak to you in a bit. Hello, 1320. Just about to come off the motorway. Three, just over three miles. So I've been to this place many times. Might have to do a shunt. Uh, sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. At least it's not raining, so uh, I don't mind if I have to. Very often the way, I start later on in the day and it's, it's even more knackering than starting early in the morning, bizarrely. Another cafe gone to the wall. That one there. I've had breakfast in there once. Closed now. Truck stop up here. Not bad. On a bit of a slant. But the boys in there are good as gold. It's um, family run. And, uh, the lad is uh, a nice bloke. Nice bloke. A 511, You'll always try and get you in. You can book ahead. Um, not always possible to get through. It's flying all set. And we left. And the good thing about the um, truck stop is that yeah, it's, it's you know it's all right. But there's a pub next to it. Literally two minute walk for a pub, and it's like um, it's one of these uh, hungry horse type pubs, so it's a bit like a river spoons, cheap and cheerful, but yeah, it's all right. You know, it's, it's nothing special, don't, don't, but you know, reasonable, good value, yeah, it does the job, especially after a long day and you don't fancy doing anything. Dip in there. It was nice during the summer. I had, a, I had a Friday come up here and did a drop and swap on a Friday, and it was quite late when I got here. Running out of time, and I thought, oh, you know, I'll just go in there. It's a really hot day. Parked up, waiting, had a pint, 
something to eat, steak and chips, job done. Nice. Subbies, eh? So hopefully he's been in there and done the shunt for me. There's a truck stop on the right there, better charm with arms. Feet, Andy. Take the exit. Well hopefully my trailer will be ready. If not, I'll start to wait for it. left but it's awkward not a little bit more awkward getting into where I want to be if I go down there so I tend to go this way down to the roundabout left and then roundabout and left again I'll get a good um, turn into where I need to be going When you put, that's, that's what happens when you put the postcode in. It takes you somewhere different sometimes. I'm not going down there. Let's turn you off. Go left here. Is the burger van still here? Yeah, it's still here. I'm going left here and I'll speak to you all in a bit. Hello, just about to leave. Clear. Always a bit wacky races here. This is a fairly new trailer, I think. It's a Jost trailer. And um, the 40 and the 20 positions are exactly the same place. Go right on the roundabout and take the second exit, Beverage Lake. But the one thing this truck doesn't have, on, the tra on what this trailer doesn't have, is marker lights um, that stick out the side, at the rear. They face rearwards. Like most trucks have a have sticky out marker lights that have like um, white to the front, amber to the side, and then red to the rear. So I can see where the corner of the truck is in the dark, and um, and really to make sure it's still hanging on the back end of me. But um, this one uh, doesn't have it at all. So <laughs> now that makes your life easier. Not having to faff about getting a 20 foot box on, you don't have to shrink it or anything like that. You, um, well.
Yeah, no marker lights. Well, they are a mark. There is a marker light, but it's facing backwards. So we're heading back now. We're empty. It's half past two. Should be back by Cross quarter to six. And take the second exit. If I do go on the docks tonight, it'll be seven o'clock. I probably need to take a break before I go on. It's um, three, three and a half hours to get down there. What's he doing? Reversing in there. Okay. After 900 feet, go right on the roundabout and take the second exit, A511, Shaw Lane. Plenty of spots in there tonight. Well, at the moment, it won't be later. Go right on the roundabout and take the second exit. On the way up, I saw that the uh, police truck was in operation. He'd nick somebody. Play a bit by here, we'll give them a bell in a bit. We'll get a bit further down the road and uh, see what they've got to say for themselves as to uh, what, um, what the plan is for tomorrow. I asked them earlier, but <laughs> before, before I left, uh, they didn't have a clue. Slightly disconcerting when there's no um, you can't see a light on the back end of the trailer. I quite like that. I've had one of these trailers before. Really, I had it during the summer. It's really good. You know, daylight hours, no problem at all. But but you doubt where you, you, you sort of go, oh, I don't know if the lights on. Having that little marker light on the back, it's just a little bit of a reassurance that the lights are actually on the back of the trailer. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A five hundred. That one there hasn't got any marker lights on at all at the back. There's no marker lights. Try and spot some for you. So he's got his main lights, but they're like little, uh, tiny little lights that sit on the corners. Always oh, going around. Irish plates. Go right on the roundabout and take the third exit, then one towards the south. Yeah, you committed, there's no way I was going to stop for that. Wouldn't have been that many. We even had to the right then when the truck started indicating left. So we're just going down to uh, 
Junction 18. So this lad here, he's got um, on his back of his trailer. You might see it as you go by. He's got a little, they're, they're sticky out red lights look. See him? So he's got three lights and then a sticky out one, either side. That's what we call marker lights. So he had on those marker lights, it's red at the back, amber on the side, and white at the front. So when you look back in your mirrors, you can just see that there's there's lights on. And um, you know where the back end of the trailer is. Which I think is pretty useful. I've got two little red ones, but they're mounted on the chassis of the trailer, one of the T-bars. Uh, within the, they don't stick out, they're, they're, so of course I can't see them because they're facing backwards. And uh, yeah, just a bit of reassurance. You know, your lights just do one at the back of the trailer. I mean, you do the when I checked the trailer over before I left, I looked up to this one. I'll do a walk round check, make sure everything's um. You know, all the wheels are in the right order. There's nothing hanging off it. You know, all the checks you have to do every day. To make sure you're safe and legal, and um, if you do get a tug, that uh, you can sit there and go, yeah, everything's all right, Governor. Somebody got... Um, Somebody put the, it was the police, I think the police put pictures up on Facebook, certain uh, certain areas have like a Facebook page and they put up a picture of a, it was a, it was a, a trailer with three tires, same sort of trailer as mine, it wasn't a skelly trailer but it had three tires, three wheels, three axles. Uh, and the inside of the middle tire um, was damaged. Say it's just the third one, the middle one, those three there. I have, when I do my walk around checks, it's a visual check. That's all we're in, that's all we legally have to do. There was no way, there was no way, especially if it was dark, that I would be able to see that there was um, something wrong with that tire, especially if it was on the, on the very top of the tire. Um, you just wouldn't see it. Um, Health and safety says you're not supposed to go underneath the trailer. What would you? Uh, so it's, it's, it's one of those things where <laughs> how am I supposed to spot that? How can I? You can't. The, the honest answer is you can't. But a driver got done. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? So I don't know whether we're going to be going back into the vein or not. No idea. Looks like we might be. dry whilst I uh, hook the trailers up, so that's the main thing. Another one of these gantry signs, it was exactly the same on the way up, it said, Q, caution, 40 mile an hour limit. And, um, the very next gantry sign said end and there was no queue there was no issues so what is the gantry sign saying queue caution 41 there you know I think it, it just can't get it right and that worries me Can't get it right here. You can't get it right on a smart motorway, can you? And it can't be around the other way. Yeah, let's go, let's go the other way where they haven't put up the sign that is needed to slow people down. Yeah. And there have been cases like that, and people have died because of that. Which is why there's such a hoo-ha over uh, smart motorways. Yeah, I don't know. You know, if everyone did what they're supposed to do and the gantry signs worked and the technology worked so 
said it was an immediate response to any given situation, then I'll be happy with it. But I'm not, because clearly there isn't that immediate response. Either to put them up or to take them down. push on down now. Um, I'll probably put you on a little bit further down once I know uh, what the plan is for tomorrow. Until then, uh, hope you're having a good day. Let's get this all out. I start speaking, she's going to say something else, isn't she? Wait for it. Any second now. Any second. Right, I'll start. I don't know what she's going to do. Um, there's a plan. There is a plan. On the docks, five o'clock. the roundabout oh. and take the second exit, A43. On the docks, five o'clock tomorrow morning. Um, well, just to recap on that, the time now is 15.43, quarter four. I've got about two hours before I'm back and queue back into the yard at about quarter six. means I can put my card in at quarter to five tomorrow morning which is just about right just and just so I can get 11 off um, leave at five down to the docks for about half past five box off box on and then um, at the Basingstoke for nine o'clock tip in Basingstoke and then um, I don't think I've had the job come through. No, job hasn't even come through. So that might well change yet. Who knows? So I'll see it when I believe well, I'll believe it when I see it even. So I'm supposed to be going to bathe stuff for 9 o'clock. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A43. Come on, keep her going. So it's a blast back to the yard now. Got the time to do it in as long as I'm not held up. Stuck tomorrow, we'll see. Um, unless things change, I'll probably leave it there for the day. It's wet, horrible, and rainy, and I'm just gonna get back to the yard, have something to eat, and then snuggle down for the night, and then um, go 
go again in the morning. See what happens. Right. That's Monday done and dusted. I'll speak to you all later. Hello. Well, well, well. Um, not quite sure what's happening. We've got a wide load up ahead here, which has been holding us up for a little while. But behind me, let me out. Thank you very much. Right, coming up on the inside. Um, there may or may not be an accident up ahead, and the A34 may or may not be closed. I've got no idea. Who knows? I've got 56 miles to go and it's telling me I've got 1 hour 42. It's going to take 1 hour 42. So I suspect there is something going on. But I'm not sure where or what. It doesn't cause me too much of a problem, but it does mean I burn a 15, or I burn a 13, I should say. I burn a 13 and it turns into a 15 hour day. Um, and that's never good straight away on a Monday. So, uh, loads before the accident which is not far after the M4 and the M4 is only three mile away so <laughs> the odds are stacked against me because this seems to be taking ages to get by they're on a bit of a move god knows what they are uh, and they're all breaking things are, they're pretty big, whatever they are. God knows. Uh, is that a train carriage? I think it is. Yeah, it's a train carriage. That was a train carriage, and I think this is a train. I wonder where that's from. Alright, it's going abroad. It's getting pulled by a Pentalvers wagon for the first truck. Okay, we're, we're clearing them. That's good. That's good. Okay, so we're just going to batter on there. nothing on those matrix signs there yeah back up on the m40 it was telling us the a34 was shut oh. well, i think i've had my job come through uh, yep it's uh basic state okay that's cool Address. Um, I suspect that it's um, an okay yard to get in and out of. After half a mile, keep right. Okay, keep right. It's really the 
these uh, the, the road works or, or how I know I can see some now. Right. Yeah, 21 miles. That's nearly back. I, I don't think there's any problem here. It's only quarter five, it's nearly bloody dark. So I've got to be parked up by the latest back in the yard at quarter past six. I get an 11 off. I can put my card in at quarter past five in the morning, leave the yard at half past five and be on the docks for quarter to ten to six. My VBS is between five and six, so I'm cutting it fine. I think what I'm going to do is um, so ideally, what I'd like to do is put my card in at half past four. The forest here was close. Up, look at him. Speed on at half past four, so I can leave the leave the yard at quarter five. I can be on the docks at five. I really don't want to be leaving it too late because I want to get done and up the road. So we'll see what time I get back. I think I'm going to have to burn one. Just to make it, just to, you know. It's only Monday and if I burn one, I've got two left. Two fifteens left. So uh, I'll just have to have an easy week, won't I? burning one tonight because this is not looking promising find out very very shortly so uh, you may as well stay with me it looks a lot lighter than it is Similar sort of time. 
It's looking bloody black over there. certain that this road was shut, which I'm not, then I could have gone through bases, I could have come off in Newbury and gone through bases there, but you just don't know. Stay, you know, it stays as this is still the quickest way. But if there is an alternative route, it pings up, and it hasn't done that. So, uh, Joy's at the A thirty four A. Joy's a trucking. I've got two hours left. It's telling me it's uh, one hour forty-one. Worst case scenario of uh, driving to get me there. So uh, yeah, we haven't got much wiggle room.
obviously there's something. I don't think it's going to take me too long to get through that. Well, we'll find out in a bit. I didn't want to come off of those last rows. That's really windy roads around there. Plenty of time. This could have been a big mistake. Who knows? You know, do you trust that nav or do you ignore it? There's like two, possibly three accidents, four, five, maybe five separate accident accounts along, along here. I know it's knackered. Now you can see that now. Uh, okay. Right, once I know something, you'll know it. Speak to you later. Hello. Well, geez. Time now, five past seven at night. Uh, Slow traffic on A34, E05. Traffic no, jam ahead. No shit. A272 Spitfire Link and A272 Spitfire Link. Two minutes delay. Two? <laughs> It's five past seven. I've been stuck in this for, I don't know how long. <coughs> um, yeah. This is, um, I should have had 11 hours off tonight. Uh, I'm only going to have nine off now. I've lost two hours. I think I'm nearly at the end. Well, right, he's up ahead. He um, he come to a stop, and um, <laughs> he thought oh, we're gonna. He heard that you know the road was closed. Um, so he uh, so he got his, he started cooking. <laughs> and he got everything going. And then the traffic started moving. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. So we might see what the problem is. Um, I've heard a truck went over, but I, I, again, I don't, I don't know how true that is. We're on three hours fourteen of drive time. So as long as we clear this and get out of the way, I'll be alright. Get back, I'll be back for 8 o'clock, 9 off on the docks for just after 5, which is which is my time. So But I could have been done with being finished two hours earlier rather than now. See the reflection of that truck up there up ahead. 
blue lights, but I can't see where the where the problem is. But we're moving, that's the main thing. I'm eating time. It's, everything's merging into this lane, this left hand lane. I think. Motorbike filtering through, he's asking for trouble. Because cars aren't going to be looking for him, they're just going to be uh, coming over to the left. So, what is the problem? I'm back for 8 o'clock, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 9 hours off, it's 5 o'clock, I'm going to put my card in at 5, quarter past 5 I leave on the docks for half past 5, so I'm good. Come on, come on, come on. flashing lights in the central reservation. We're not going to see are we I don't think. see the signs of a truck going over. See what the problem was at all there. Absolutely no idea. There certainly wasn't a truck gone over. Very bizarre. Who knows? Another mystery. Cost me two hours of my life. Well, as long as everyone's all right, there was no ambulances there unless they've all been carted away already. There was no broken down cars or broke, you know, smashed up vehicles. No, 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 no mystery. Uh, right, onwards. Job I started late, otherwise I'd have been riding this shit, wouldn't I? Speeches all day up. Anyway, that'd be, that'd be it. I ain't recording again, I don't think. There'd be nothing else to say. I'm just going back to the yard. I'll be done by 8 o'clock. Getting something to eat and going to bed. Rock and roll!